Hey guys, long time no see. I'm back with another video, but this one's gonna be a little... I'm gonna try and hopefully it'll be a little bit longer. Um, I don't want to make it like an hour or anything, but um, I'm doing something different for this video. Um, I'm going to talk about the next big Arrowverse crossover, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, for those of you who don't know, I love the Arrowverse. Even though I only watch, I only watch Supergirl and Legends. I haven't seen a single up. Well, I've seen a couple episodes of Arrow and Flash. I just, I don't like Arrow or Flash. I mean, I like the characters and all. I just don't. I just can't get into those shows. But I do love Supergirl and Legends. So, I know every year since all the shows began, they've had a yearly crossover event. So the very first one was Invasion, where they fought like the Dominators and all that. Second one was Crisis on Earth X, where they fought um, the uh, bad guys from or their Earth uh, Earth X doppelgangers, and they fought Nazis, so which was pretty badass. And Barry and Iris got married, so. <laughs> and then last year's crossover was Elseworlds, but it was only Arrow, The Flash, and Supergirl. Legends were left out for some reason, and then uh, we also got introduced to Batwoman in Elseworlds, um, so. And then at the end of Elseworlds, they teased um, the next crossover, which was, of course, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So, um, and now that we've had all the season finales of all the Arrowverse shows, we've got a somewhat of a night. We've got we've gotten teased. Um, each show had its own teaser for the Crisis. Um, since we all know that the um, Arrows next season, season eight, is going to be its last, and it's only going to have ten episodes. Um, so, and then, uh, so, to begin with that, for the Arrow season finale, um, it ended with the Monitor showing up to Oliver's, I guess, cabin, I guess, where he and Felicity have been hiding out from, uh, I guess, I think the Ninth Circle, um, and then, uh, you know, it's, it's really, uh, and they've been raising their daughter Mia, so I mean... Yeah, um, so anyway, the monitor shows up to collect on the deal he made with Oliver during the Elseworlds crossover, um, because if you, if you, if you haven't seen the Elseworlds crossover, go check it out, but if, if, if you haven't, this is gonna be a spoiler alert, um, because Oliver made a deal with the monitor to save Barry and Kara from dying in that crossover, because they were both going around the Earth at, like, a really, really fast speed to slow down time so they could stop, uh, John Deegan, and Superman saw them both kind of just, like, spontaneously combust and just die. Uh, so Oliver went and talked to the Monitor to save their lives in that moment. And so he made a deal. All that we know was the Monitor said, um, <clears throat> I need you to do whatever, I, when, uh, whatever's necessary to survive this crisis. Um, I think my phone's gonna fall down. Oops. <laughs> Uh, anyway, to survive the crisis, I'm just trying to hold my phone up here. Whatever's required of you to survive the crisis that's coming. So, um, so apparently all, of, and then, so then the monitor came and he said, you know, it's time. I need you to come with me so we can start, I guess, recruiting heroes and villains from from the multiverse to help fight this crisis. And he also confirmed what we all thought is that Oliver is going to die in this crisis. So he said, I've watched you die. <clears throat> so that means Oliver is going to die during this crisis. Because when we heard that, I, even though that was speculation for a long time that Oliver Queen was going to die during the crisis. Um, since we heard that, you know, Arrow was probably going to be ending soon, so and when Season 8 was confirmed, then a lot of people thought, you know, maybe it's, he's not going to die, and then when we heard it, it was only 10 episodes, and he's like, yeah, he's going to die. So I have a feeling that, so what is Season 8 of Arrow going to be about? Um, and it was also Felicity's last episode, too. So anyway, so Oliver goes with the monitor, and we know Oliver's going to die, and then it flash-forwards to the future, where Felicity, with Felicity and their children standing over Oliver's grave, and apparently, and then Felicity meets up with the Monitor, and I think he takes, and then I think, and she says, I've waited this long to see him, and he takes her to see Oliver, I guess, and 
whatever wherever he is after he dies um but so yeah i mean so what is arrow season eight going to be about um i'm hearing a lot of people say that's probably going to be about arrow um or oliver his time with the monitor like maybe it'll show him going with the monitor going around to the multiverse and recruiting heroes and villains to fight this crisis um so I have a feeling that's what Arrow Season 8 is going to be about. And then, um, you know, so hopefully that's what happens, maybe. And then maybe we focus on the rest of Team Arrow, what they're doing in the meantime. I don't know. And then maybe Arrow calls them in to help fight the crisis. So he'll be like, let me call my team and we'll help fight this crisis. So, uh, and then in the Flash, um season finale which i believe was called legacy arrows was called you saved you have saved this city and then um the flash one was called legacy so of course um <clears throat> uh the reverse flash gets loose thon gets loose and uh that a new timeline is created where and it erases nora um barry and iris's daughter from existence and uh but, and thon said see you in our next crisis so i mean um I guess Thon's gonna play a big role in the crisis too, because also, and then at the like at the very end, it showed that newspaper article that said Flash vanish vanishes um, missing during Flash missing vanishes during crisis. Um, so, and it says he was fighting the Reverse Flash um, when he disappeared. So, um, I have a feeling that that's gonna that's why Thon's gonna be an integral part because. Flash is fighting Thon when he vanishes during the crisis. So, um, anyway, it showed the, uh, time, it showed the year changing from 2024 to 2019. So that means the crisis is almost here and that it's coming a lot sooner than expected. Um, if you also paid attention, you'll see, you'll notice that the article changed because I saw, like, on the first article when it said 2024, it said, with the help from Starling City's Green Arrow, the Atom, and Hawk, and Hawk Girl, um, on it and then it changed to say um it like flat it like faded and then it came back up and then it said with the the flash with the help from star city's green arrow white canary supergirl and batwoman and a slew of other legendary heroes so i mean that means uh that all pretty much confirmed that you know green arrow supergirl legends and batwoman are all going to be in this crossover too uh, my big question is, is Barry still going to vanish during this crisis? Um, that's the big question. Is he still going to vanish during this crisis? And if he does, then what's the Flash Season 6 going to be about? Is is it going to be maybe after crisis, the team maybe trying to look for him, trying to figure out, you know, where the hell he went? You know, he just disappeared and without a trace. And, uh, during that fight with Reverse Flash, so... Um, is he dead or is he alive? I mean, that will be the big question. If he does vanish, is he dead or is he alive? Or is Oliver's sacrifice going to change uh, Barry disappearing during the crisis? Um, I really don't know. There's so many questions. And then, um, Supergirl, we got the monitor showing up on her Earth and he brings Jean's, I guess, I read that he was Jean's like, brother, like, twin brother that doesn't have, uh, Martian telepathy, um, to Supergirl's Earth to get revenge on Jean, and, uh, I guess maybe that must have been, uh, to set things in motion for the crisis even more, or maybe the Monitor wants to test Jean to see if Jean will be ready, <clears throat> so I don't know, maybe it's part of the Monitor's plan to help the heroes, to help test the heroes some more for the crisis so that he knows that they're ready, to fight this crisis. And uh, we also saw Lex Luthor get shot by Lena. So is Lena going to become, uh, <clears throat> you know, and Lex Luthor also told Lena that, you know, Kara is Supergirl. And Lena felt betrayed and all that. So is she going to become the next big villain for the next season of Supergirl? I don't know. But anyway, it sh and Lena shot Lex and he died. And then it showed the monitor on Shelly Island over Lex's body, and then he does something, so I guess maybe, <clears throat> I'm guessing maybe he brings Lex Luthor back to life, because, um, I have a feeling Lex Luthor is an integral part of the crisis, and the monitor's like, we need him 
for the crisis to help fight the crisis. Um, can you imagine this Lex Luthor and Thawne team up? That would be awesome. That would really be awesome to see Lex Luthor and Thawne working together. <clears throat> um, you know, two brilliant minds who, I mean, who plan out everything because everything this season in Supergirl was all planned out by Lex Luthor. And then everything this season of The Flash was planned out by Thawne. So, I mean, <clears throat> the, these guys are geniuses. That's why they're so, that's why they're such great villains, you know, because they're geniuses. But anyway, so that's all we got for the teaser for Supergirl. There's nothing that says that, like, Supergirl dies or anything. But I know in the comics, in the original comics, I believe Supergirl and Flash both die in the comics. So, um, I don't know if they're going to do anything like that with Crisis or probably not since, you know, I mean, how are you going to do Flash and Supergirl without Flash and Supergirl? So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see how it plays out. And then Legends last night, with um, all that we got was the Monitor sitting in the, sitting in an audience, uh, just kind of, I guess, laughing at the Legends' um, lack of abilities. <laughs> and he's like, these are the Legends. I mean, these are those Legends I've heard so much about. <laughs> Um, and then it just, that's all we saw of the Monitor and Legends, um, so I don't know how the Legends is going to, I know they're gonna come in and help fight this crisis, because as I said, it's been confirmed, so, <clears throat> but then Legends isn't returning until 2020 for the mid-season, um, as like a mid-season premiere of their season, and then, uh, so I don't know what the hell they're gonna be doing, uh, during this time, but... <clears throat> Maybe they could give us a little inside look onto like what they're doing, and I have a feeling all the all the other Arrowverse shows, you know, like Supergirl and Arrow and all of them, are going to be building up to the crisis. Um, I want and but Batwoman, of course, we have to get Batwoman's story in first. Um, it takes place. The Ruby Rose confirmed that the Batwoman uh, pilot is set before the events of Elseworlds. <clears throat> so, of course, we gotta get that out of the way first, and then we'll maybe have Batwoman build up into the crisis, and, um, so, yeah, um, I, I, at the CW upfront, they confirmed that it's going to be five hours over two quarters, so that means, uh, five hours is for all five shows, because each show is an hour, so that means that they're going to show the th first, I believe, the first three episodes, they said, in December, uh, as the mid-season finales for each of those shows, and then possibly the series finale for Arrow, and then, um, the other, and then the final two episodes as mid-season premieres, so, um, I know that Arrowverse is gonna change dramatically because of this crisis, so, um, that's what I think, um, I'm really excited for this crisis. I mean, I can't wait until fall. I want it to be fall already, so that way we can see how each show is going to build up for the crisis. And, you know, when the crisis hits, like, what's going to happen? You know, like, who's going to die? Who's going to make it? Um, I have a feeling, uh, as I said, as we all know, all Oliver's going to die. Um, is Barry still going to vanish? I don't know. It's... I mean, because the newspaper article still said Flash missing vanishes during crisis. So I mean, is he still going to disappear, or is he maybe going to disappear and then he'll co and then come back like right away? Is Oliver's sacrifice going to change that? Going to change oh, Barry disappearing? I mean, that would make sense, I guess. Like Oliver says, if I'm gonna die, I want you to prevent Barry from disappearing or something. And but yeah, and. uh so, this is going to be the biggest crossover. This is going to be the crossover to end all crossovers, they said, basically. It's going to be the biggest crossover. It's going to change the Arrowverse as as we know it. Um, <clears throat> I can't wait to see a lot of superhero team-ups in there. And supervillain team-ups, possibly. So, Because uh, I know the the this crisis brings superheroes and villains together. So, they all work together to help defeat the Anti-Monitor and his army, I guess. Um, so, uh that's basically that's really all I got you know building up for this crisis is going to be really fun to watch and when those shows come back so let me know in the comments below what you think they should what do you think about crisis on infinite earth how do you think they should build up to it or how or how and how excited are you for it because I know I'm really excited so thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later